If you look back at nine years ago, we had 95 dispatchers. Today we have 87. Fortunately, the council and mayor recently approved us getting eight more dispatchers. It's going to bring us back to the 2009 level. Adding eight people into our budget is really only a, a small band-aid. We need probably about 40 people. Right now, um, I'm looking at the screen up there and I see green. That means the green spots um, are my dispatchers waiting for um, a call because we're short of people right now. Sometimes our calls are waiting to be answered. So we're not able to provide the service that we can if we, ha if we had enough people to do that. Typically when we get a shooting victim, it's shots fired. So we have multiple callers all at once. Then all of our dispatchers are tied up on that one shooting. But then maybe 20 seconds later, we have another one reporting that a child is drowning in the pool. And that call's not gonna get answered because we have limited resources. We are only doing what we can and working as hard as we can, but it's not enough if you don't have enough personnel. They do take difficult calls all the time and they really need a break after those calls. They really can't afford to take a break because 911 is still ringing, so they really need to keep answering. Although we do get our, our people a break after those tough calls, um, it's just they know they don't want to leave their position because they know the next person is going to be calling in and nobody's going to be there to answer their call. You know, this last year, the state came in and did an audit and an assessment. That's how we um, utilize 911 fees to be able to remodel our communication center. At that time, we were told we needed 42 additional operators in order to function at the adequate level. I think ultimately we want to take care of who we have add more personnel and be able to answer the 911 call from our um, from all of our citizens